Um, I've been doing a bunch of like upgrades around the office and I've talked about like ergonomic sort of things. Uh, and so one of the things I've been meaning to get for a while is a really good keyboard because uh, I had a bunch that I liked, but they stopped making them like good Logitech keyboards. And then so I sort of like switched to just like by default using like decent, but, you know, notebook style uh, Bluetooth keyboards. Uh, but I finally got like a good like a uh, good keyboard with cherry switches. This is the uh, code keyboard Ooh. from WASD. Oh, I do and want it. it. Is, oh, I want it. it exactly. And <laughs> the so best beautiful. thing I can say about it is that it's as good as the free keyboard you used to get with a Mac like <laughs> in 1984, uh, because this sort of technology, they just don't give you away anymore so it has these really cool the, the brand name is cherry they've been making key switches forever uh and the what you can get from it is that if i just type like this you'll understand what i'm talking about oh man it's that's like the sound mechanical, baby mechanical oh. switches that don't have they don't just they're not like notebook style switches which have like a little rubber bumper and underneath it that sort of bounces down then bounces back up again the tactile feedback is just wonderful the fact that each of these keys is like dished out you can see a little bit your fingers just find where to go there's no miss striking whatsoever it's heavy and it has like big rubber feet on the bottom of it so it doesn't slide around on the keyboard uh it has backlighting and you can set the level of backlighting and even if you unplug it and plug plug it back in again, uh, it will remember that backlighting level. Uh, it's just lovely. Uh, it's uh, the uh, the and the other cool thing is that you can decide it, it is it is completely upgradable. It is completely serviceable. Uh, and when you order it, you can decide what kind of key switches you want inside there. These are cherry brown switches, which are the pretty much the most comfortable for the for most people, the most comfortable switch. If you like the really loud clacky, clacky, clack, you can get the blues. Uh, you can also get green switches, and they will actually also add like O-ring dampeners in there, so it'll be almost completely silent. Oh. The only, the, the only, it's, there's not a bad thing about it, but of course, I I can't use this while I'm. Sometimes you know we're all like sort of looking things up and like looking, reading like the next article or whatever. You can't use this while podcasting because you know, people will listen to it. Uh, but the other, the, so it's it definitely uh, uh, it's it behooves you to like think about what kind of keys you want. They will also this isn't the one from uh, from WAS the manufacturers but they will actually sell you a sampler pack of just key switches so this one is from a different company but it has samples of like four different kinds of cherry key switches and it also came with like a little little bundle of uh, of o-rings so you can actually test how each one of these feels and finally say okay i want the brown switches but i want uh, the I want I want blue O rings underneath it, and that gives me the best uh, response. Also, because it's designed, I mean, they're, they're, these aren't like sealed up notebook keyboards. So, if it gets dirty, you can yank off the keycap. It actually comes with a keycap removal tool and clean it. If for whatever reason, let's say you're being a little bit too hessian aggression when you're playing a game and you break a key. You don't have to throw out the whole keyboard. You can just simply replace that one key switch. You can even, like, if you, if you want the escape key to be a different color, you can pull the escape key and buy, like, a red one. Do, do exactly what you want. Uh, love this to death. There's so many so many nice little touches, too. Like, this is obviously a USB keyboard. It's not wireless. But they've actually, like, put channels underneath it so that you can route, oh. the, you can route the cable to go left, right, or straight up. Uh, another thing. Oh, that, Does it have a stuff. second USB port for the mouse? No, unfortunately. That's one thing that's I like the about only, the Apple keyboard. Yeah, that's the only thing. That's the only thing I wish it had because that keeps clutter yeah. uh, kind of a little bit uh, better under control. Uh, but that's really the only thing that I think that you could improve this. Uh, that you can improve this with. Um, it is uh, Apple compatible. It's also Windows compatible. Actually, and I, I, I'm, I'm such an old geek, but it made me so happy. This is the first device I've bought since like 1990. Where look at that dip switches. Oh. So like for settings, and you can disable the control key with the dip switch. You can disable the control key. You can make the caps lock key do something else if you don't use caps you can lock. Swap alt with uh, command if you're on a Mac and you want it to be Macish. Exactly. Uh, it doesn't that. have it. it unfortunately, it doesn't. Another thing it would be lovely to have, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't have like a double like a, a, if you look at the legend for like the alt key, it doesn't have like two different pieces of artwork for the command key and right. alt. It's just alt. But that's OK. I mean, it's not like your, your, your hands know where it is. You don't have to actually go looking for it. Uh, but uh, like it's it's not cheap, but it might be the last keyboard that you'll buy for 10 years. Which color uh, did you get? 
Uh, it's only available in. Excuse me. The, key, the keys I got were uh, were the brown switches. Cherry brown. Uh, okay. Yeah. And it, it, to be honest, it did take me because I've been typing on nothing but notebook style keys for like a year. It did take me a good few hours before I got my sea legs back. But after that, it had the it had the weirdest effect on me. I often because I, I still I, I do almost all my writing on my MacBook. I often will like start something like in bed upstairs when I wake up, and then like I'll make myself my my English muffin and I'll be like continuing to work like on the sofa, and maybe I'll be working like through lunch on the sofa. I enjoy typing on this keyboard so much. Now I'm actually going into the office. And like getting starting my day like a real business person, like sitting <laughs> behind a desk because I just prefer this to the feel of the notebook. It actually, I actually feel a little bit disappointed that I actually when I take my MacBook out of the house that I have to actually use the MacBook's keyboard. I, but I don't want to be one of those people who goes to like Starbucks with a loud, clacky, <laughs> like eighty-one pound keyboard because that would be. I got enough. And I got my Mac on your shoulder. As it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, like, I recommend it really, really highly. Uh, if it, I, I don't know, I, I just don't know if there are people who have never used a proper keyboard before. And if you will just never, you're just at this point, you're just not even house trained for proper mechanical key switches anymore. Uh, but I just got to say that uh, I'm, this is one of the best, the, the, the keyboard I got, they have it in, this is the 87 key version or what's called the, what's often called the 10 keyless format. Uh, where it has it's an extended keyboard only the only thing it's missing is it doesn't have a numeric keypad but it does have like all the navigation keys on it you can also get the full like 101 saratoga flight deck uh size one uh, but this one is i think 145 dollars i'd have to check you can you can go to codekeyboards.com uh for the the straight one you got is yeah, 150 not, they have a 145 uh no the, the one the, no the one i got is 145 oh uh the one that's the uh 87 key mechanical oh, 87 key brown. brown yeah yeah if you get 104 yeah, the 104 it's keyboard is yeah, yeah. is 150 just yeah. five bucks more yeah. but like i said i mean i i had a problem because uh, i loved there's a, a logitech uh, had uh, a, a line of keyboards that i really liked uh that i'm stupid for not i felt like i'm stupid for not buying them for 70 dollars when they got uh cleared out uh, because I'll, and all, all that was wrong with it, my keyboard is that one key, just the letter A, stopped working, and so I had to throw up the entire keyboard. Uh, brass with this, I love it, and I like I said, I feel like if for the next ten years, if I should break a key, I'll just fix it, and uh, because it's just so nicely made. Very, very sweet. Wow, I've been looking oh, at the DOS uh, keyboard. One, one other thing I, did, I didn't mention, this isn't re realize that this this keyboard cable is not wired in. This is just a micro USB connector. So if you want to order like a, off of Amazon, like an eight foot keyboard to reach wherever you want to go, or if you just need a three foot key, it's not like something that's wired in where you're kind of stuck with this curly springy thing. There's so many little detail. I did. I actually did consider the DOS keyboard. Um, I didn't. I only I went with this one because I liked how plain it was. Uh, the DOS keyboard looks a little bit stylish for what I want. Also, you can't get it in the 87 key version. You can only get it with the uh, Saratoga style. And uh, I find that I have to reach too far from the mouse if I have the full extended keyboard. Plus, I, I never use the numeric keypad anyway. It does have like nice dedicated uh, keys for volume and uh, Mac control uh, on, the, on this keyboard. Uh, it's a secondary function. So if I want to uh, turn if I want to mute the audio, I have to hit the menu key and uh, this other key instead of just having one thing to slap. It's funny. Every time I hear DOS keyboard, I always wonder if Porsche Design made a laptop. It'd be like DOS laptop. DOS you know, laptop. Titanium. <laughs> DOS laptop. Yes, DOS made with function, DOS laptop. Yeah, I can't use anything that clicks at all in the uh, in my office here because I'm doing a radio show. I don't want anybody to know I'm googling the answer. But uh, <laughs> at, but at home, I don't care. That's yeah. nice. If you try, yeah. try, if you try the, the the blue keys are, are a trip because the only other there's only one other place you ever hear keys like that. And so whenever I was trying someone who has like a blue keyboard, I want to say, okay, and uh, will you what will we desiring a, a special meal on this flight? Okay, <laughs> is we blue louder? So blue is the clickiest. Blue, blue is blue is really really loud. If you look online, um, if you look online, there's actually some. There there are a lot of keyboard geeks who will have just nothing but thousands and thousands of messages on this technology. Someone made this. Oh, really I know. People cool are animation. so serious about this stuff. Well, some some people some people are really passionate about the things they're passionate about. And so there's actually like cutaway like animations of what each key type of key looks like when it makes contact. The blue actually has a separate 
extra little kink in the key switch uh, post that is designed to do nothing but create a clicking sound when you uh, when you get to, when you get to the uh, to the contact point. It's like so engine whereas, rev, right? It's like Apple extended two sound. Yeah. We're gonna put a click thing in it. And so people just hate the people in the next cubicle, and they want to drive them all away. <laughs> it's a very Dwight Schrute so thing great. to do. Yeah. Wow. Here's, now I'm tempted. Really, I, re I really feel like I'm working when my brain is just here. It, it makes this white noise when I'm working. and I'm t I type at 100, 110 uh, words per minute. And so when I'm really working, it's like white noise that shuts out everything from the outside. Oh, remember that uh, old typewriter and so, sound and you'd hear the ting at the end of it and that just sounds yep. so great. Ting, 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 ting. Yep. <laughs> it's a, it's nice especially like if you like if you if you got a if you got a spouse or if you got roommates, it's good to basically say no, I'm definitely not just chilling out and like binge watching <laughs> TV. I am actually working as you can hear from the noise <laughs> that, that I'm making as I work. It's an MP3, but you can hear it. <laughs> exactly. At least I'm taking the time to at least put up the pretense that I'm not goofing off. I do wish the return key had a ding on it, though. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> the DOS <laughs> keyboard sure. does have USB ports for the mouse on it. Yes. Which is one yeah, thing nice. to recommend DOS it. keyboard. And uh, almost working in our chat room says there is a DOS keyboard with just 87 keys. Okay, I didn't see it. And there's a and DOS, DOS, DOS keyboard has the sound uh, bites if you want to know what the differences are. Oh, nice. So this is the cherry mix. Let's hear the brown. But this is cherry. Holy cow. That's the brown. Here's the blue, the louder one. Oh, jeez. That almost hurts my ears. Yeah. And, and, if they, and if these keyboards are a little bit too pricey for you, pretty there are a lot of keyboards, especially intended for gamers, that use these exact same key switches. You can find a brown, a brown Cherry MX keyboard for as little as $60 or $70. Uh, it might not be as nice as this, but it will have the same key cap, uh, the same key switch technology. Uh, I'm I, I'm not I'm not sad that I spent the money for this one. I'd actually been using one uh, that a friend had. I borrowed it for for a day, uh, and it was like, okay, I think I can spend 100, 145 bucks for this again. It's it's, a, I, it's it's not just hey, I, I had an impulse to buy a keyboard. There is a movement inside this office to well, let's take things that are uncomfortable that make it uncomfortable to like work here for eight hours and make them more comfortable. Uh, and so this was one of the first things I bought, and it really uh, paid off handsomely.